Okay guys, so here's how we can prove this. Here's our high side pressure sensor. This is a good photo. So it goes through here and then goes through our condenser and then comes back over and comes out to our high side port right here. So we have high pressure going into the condenser and then it's dropping and then becoming low to our sensor. Right here our pressure is at 211 PSI. Yeah. 210. Our gauge over Wait, here. Wait, that says 280. No, it says 209. Oh, oh, up there, okay. And in here, it says like 80, 90, 80 yeah. or so. Yeah. So now if I shut this car off, watch what happens. If I shut the car off. It drops. It drops to 180, but this starts coming back up. Why? Because we got a restriction between our condenser and that fitting. Oh, so okay. now it's bleeding over. Um, I found it on I found it on the diagram. So these will end up pretty within like 10 psi of each other. But you can see how that goes up because the high side should match. Like these should be really close to each other. Which they are right around now. Yeah, we're at 172 and like 175 or so. And then if I start it back up, you'll see that one will shoot way high on the on the scan tool. The scan tool will go up to like 300 or something. You'll see. Yeah, I see it's 230, jumping. 230, 240. And this so is the, dropping. Yeah, that's dropping. And they should stay the same close enough. Yeah. This will end up coming back down with the fans. Okay, guys, so we've got a brand new condenser in here. Um, we're going to recharge this. Uh, is anything on the belt? Nothing's on the belt, so we should be good here. Let's go to charge. Enter. So we're at 1510. Um, let's open this up. I pulled it in a vacuum for like an hour. Um, let's start this car up. Um. Let's see what happens here. Okay, she's on. Let's see what our pressure is doing. Presser turned on. Our oh, high side is starting to come up. Our high side so far is like the highest it's been this whole time. Not sure why the camera turned off, but um. Okay, guys. So finished filling. Sorry, I ran out of space on my phone. Well, we went down to 13.14 pounds, and we put 22 and a half ounces in. So look at our pressures. They're already way better. Um, let me see what our duct temp feels like. Oh, man. Huge difference in the car already. Huge difference. Both sides feel the same. Uh, I'm going to set this dash back in place and just set some things in place and... Uh, um, tomorrow I'll put it all back together. Hey guys, look at these pressures. At, um, 29 on the low, what, 220 or so on the high. Um, inside the car, it's probably like ice. Oh yeah, it's very cold in here, guys. Very, very cold. So we'll get this all back together. Get this back to him. Um, I also want to show you guys something. Look at this. I took this uh, condenser apart. 
Oops. Look at this. Um, actually, let's get this piece out. Let's see. Let's turn this upside down and get it to come out. All this green stuff is from in there. Um, let's see if I can pull that up with like a pick or something. Let's see, do we have a pick in here? There we go. I took this out before I decided to film this. Oh, there it goes. There it comes. Look at this thing. Okay, sorry about that. Foam was getting too hot. But look at this. This is like a filter, I think. Yeah, I think that's supposed to be like a filter. Look how clogged that is. Now, if we look down in here, because if you look, that goes right where that port is. Let's see if we can get this stuff out. I'm going to say that that. That bag came apart in there. I don't, I don't know what it's supposed to look like on this car. So yeah, it goes through the port. Oops, it goes through the filter because you can see the port right there. Wherever that was at. See the port right below my finger. It's the port. So when that comes through here, and then goes out through there, and you can see all the crap that's in there. That's why our AC wasn't working. And then this one on top, and then that one on top to seal it. Guys, yeah, so I was cleaning out this guy's sunroof drains. Man, you guys gotta see this. Let's see if we can get this in the pan. I pulled this hose off. Oh no, it doesn't want to run out. It was just running out earlier. Um, this guy's spare tire well is all filled with water. Like, you can see the water just sitting on here. This thing has to be dried out. This is crazy. Um, I'm gonna blow this bottom part out because it's clogged. And we'll do the other side. So I blew this port out right here. So that's blown out, and this is blown out. So now look how moldy that was in there. So we'll uh, we'll wash this all out, and then it should stop coming in the car. Okay, guys. So water's coming out. We we'll put it in the sunroof up here. Right like that. I mean, look at that. Look at that. See, it's coming out. Um, I'm going to blow it out again once it stops stripping. Do the same thing with the other side. Make sure both sides are good in here. Do this. Yep, it still has like a clog. Oh, look at that. Oh, that sucks. So we're gonna have to blow this tube out. Watch this guys, it's a lot better now. So we'll put the rest of this water up here. We'll dump it all into here. 
Look at this, look how fast it's pouring out. Way better. Look at that. That's what you want. So that side's good. Now we gotta go over to this side. Let's take our trusty pan in here. There we go. Oh, this one had, was leaking too. See how easy that came off? Um, so we gotta blow this one out too. Why it's so important, it makes your car all rusty, moldy inside. Let's see if we can blow this side out. Turn the light on. You guys can see right here is the port. See that? It's clogged. It's clogged. There we go. Let's put this back on and see if we can put water down. I gotta get more water. Look at that, there's some water coming out. Unless it's coming out of the muffler, but I think it's coming out of that. Let's see. We gotta lean the car back. Let's see. Let's put some pour some water down in here. Look at that. for this to stop and we'll pull that pipe back off and we'll make sure it's clean again because there's probably still debris in it. The way that's coming out I'm thinking there might be debris in it. This stuff's supposed to be cleaned regularly. Uh, every two years or so, you're supposed to clean this. Let's put more water in here. There we go, a lot better. that finish drain and then we'll uh, pull that one more time and then I'll put everything, I'll set some stuff back in. We gotta take this for a test drive and then we'll let it sit here and dry out. Okay guys, so it's 80 degrees out here. We're gonna take this car for a ride. And uh, we'll see what kind of temperatures we're getting. Let's see what this says out of the duct work. Right now it's like ice cold. Let's see, let's stick this on without the there we go. Now we'll get a more accurate temperature reading. Sunroof is also open. Close up the sunroof right now. Look at that 70. 67. 62, look at that. This thing's gonna be ice cold. Like, I haven't even driven the car, I've just been sitting here running.
don't see too many claw condensers here. Like usually when condensers come in they're just bad and like you know, they can Change the grill in this car, but uh, look at this on the condenser. We're seeing like what 149. Look how evenly heated, heated up this is. Look at that over here. So we're seeing. like 110 on that side, right? And on this side, so like 145, almost 150. So we got almost a 40 degree drop. So you went 20 to 50 degrees. But look at this. Look at how nice this is. right behind that spot. Way better. Okay guys, so we're back. Look at that, 42 degrees. So I think this thing is done. I really hope you guys like it. Well, this is pretty interesting. See you guys later. You guys, like I said, I changed the, the grill. So I really hope you guys like this one. I want to add this in there because I forgot to do this. See you guys later.